Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today. So many days ago, Nigerians were shocked as um, Alaba International Market in Lagos shut down just to get registered for PVC. And many other places in Lagos were all moved to get PVC. In fact, the awareness for PVC acquisition, registration, and uh, voters' awareness became so heightened such that uh, the daughter of uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu had to react, and this time around, she went straight for the Ndibos. And the question is, I wonder why. In a moment, you're going to find out what she said that has been trending for a while now, and what Nigerians are generally saying. So, what's with the outburst? But before we go into the news proper, we wish you a happy new month. We'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. All right, according to the news, uh, according to uh, Fola Shade, uh, Mojidat Tinubu Ojo, this is what she said. It said, my dad made Lagos more comfortable for Igbos, but they chose to be ungrateful. Hmm. The conducive environment you see today in Lagos that Igbos are enjoying while doing their businesses were put in place by my father, Asuaju Ahmed Tunubo. These people left their hometown and we accepted them wholeheartedly in Lagos State, provided all they needed, yet they are not grateful. Instead, they keep attacking my father at any slightest opportunity. Without this man, there will be nothing like Igbos in Lagos State. They made their billions here. Some of them don't even know their hometown anymore because they now prefer Lagos than where they are coming from. Now, it's time for them to reciprocate the kind gesture my father has shown to them over the years by supporting his pre presidential ambition. They now resort to blackmail and other sort of moves against the person that made them um, whom, they are, whom they are in Lagos State as of today. They locked up their shops just to get their PVCs, something that has never happened before, just because my father is contesting for the president of this country, simply because they don't want him. We have tolerated their excesses for too long. Now, therefore, the earlier we put them in their position, the better. We are watching them closely because if you are Rome, you must respect our door and support the culture of the Romans and whatever they are doing. You can be in Rome and be you can't you cannot be in Rome and be against the Romans. Never. All right, you have heard what um Fola Shade said some many days ago. All right. <laughs> That's Fola Shade Mujida Tunobojo. Question is what if my personal question now is what if they're getting the pvc to vote in your father it's just pvc they, they're getting <laughs> they did not say they're going to vote against your father i don't think they're actually slandering your father lagos over time have been seen as a no man's land but let me address the issue of doing Ibos a favor uh, just a quick one what you call a favor is actually increasing the gdp of lagos state a koni budget the truth is, without the business of coming in, taxation, that high IGP, GDP Lagos is enjoying, they may not get it. The reason why Lagos is seen as a no man's land is because it's accommodating to all. And the reason why South East seems to be deserted right now, apart from insecurity, is the fact that the Igbos have the wandering spirit of always going to other places and developing it and always just building their hometowns with beautiful homes and never occupying them. They have this wandering spirit, always exploring. If the Igbos leave that state now, they are shouting they should this. If they should leave and go to another state and develop it, Lagos will go down in GDP. You should understand that whatever have benefit have disadvantage. Whatever have advantage have disadvantage. One of the advantages is the fact that people believe is a commercial nerve center. Hence, is what it is. And I do not think that it is indeed most alone that are getting their PVC. Go to the north, just that they're not making noise. They're not are getting their PVC every day. 
go to south south southeast they're getting their pvc every day it's not about tenable and it's also not about article i think it's about the youth they want to change it's just about campaigning i don't i don't think you should go this personal about it okay i cannot forget after this whole issue of um, getting pvc in alaba international market trade fair and the rest um is the same ohana is in the Bolegos branch i saw them working close in close rank with um, with um Ibokwe, Joe Ibokwe. And they have made their promise that their vote in Lagos, Ohana is in Dibo, yeah, they said it boldly. That their vote, Ohana is in Dibo, Lagos branch, said their vote belongs to Asiwaju. That there's no two, two by four, there's no two ways about it. They're giving their all their vote and support. So because they have made, he has made Lagos conducive for them. What else do you want? If Asiwaji can talk to them to a final good in, in, in politics, as much as you can campaign and convince the electorate that you have the capacity and you have, you mean well, you have well without, by all means. But, you know, going by emotion, this is just like uh, doing what we call reverse psychology. It's not only in Dibu that is in the uh, southwest, not only in Dibu that is in Lagos. Go check. The houses are in Lagos. The full are in Lagos. Okay, this is issue of uh, the, the, the bike ban, the motorcycle ban. I don't know, predominantly northerners, but predominantly full and men, house are men. Who who have become almost a nuisance and menace, especially in that mile two, my my two area, my twelve area. The in fact, in first tag town is worse. You see them like this, they heap themselves in that first tag town and they're almost a nuisance. But they're b predominantly the northerners, such that when someone will lose himself to decide to put a ban on a motorcycle, tricycle, motorcycle rider, sorry, motorcycle riders, the selling king and the rest decided to say, Look, someone will don't ban us totally. We can walk around this because we can actually give, we have strong voting power. We can actually give you a vote. All we need to do is just don't ban our stuff they realized someone was like we don't i don't they don't care if you have voting power all i want is safety and sanity of my citizens and it stood his ground so when seneca said that they have voting power that's to tell you the number of northerners number of fulani head fulanis that are actually in lagos as well so it's not only Igbos that are in lagos that you're making conducive for everyone that comes around there's a taxation in place that gives high gdp to lagos state that makes them one of the most lucrative states when it comes to generating internal internal revenues so don't make it look as if it's just in the so the are in lagos as well the south southerners are in lagos as well lagos is almost a no man's land if you can struggle and make it you go there and make it so trying to you know whip up emotions and sentiment in politics Come on, it's just for them to know who to hit. If they know who to meet uh, with the Igbo, Igbo structures in Lagos, maybe they can strike a deal. But to begin to say, is it because you play like the Roms? Or, if you want to play that card, it will be too nice because Nigeria, we are trying to unite. Don't play that ethnic card. It's not nice. That, I guess well, that's what I'm going to wrap, wrap it up for my personal opinion now. Just may differ. But I feel that I understand her emotions, her father and all that. But Nigerians are also looking at Nigeria as a country. So like um, one of the campaign person of uh, Peter Obi said that if you want to appreciate uh, what um, uh, what um, Tinubu have done, you can as well, you know, organize a festival, a fair for him, celebrate him. He said, but when it comes to Asurok, Nigeria belongs to Nigerians and not to one man. And I think that is fair enough. Let's put in our conversation. What's your take?